Well, you've probably noticed gas prices are going up once again. Since the start of July, the average price at the pump is up a dime a gallon. And that's in spite of the White House releasing 30 million barrels of crude from our strategic petroleum reserve. CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis spoke about this with veteran oil man T. Boone Pickens. Good morning, Rebecca. Hey, Chris. Good morning. And Boone Pickens says that Washington has spent 40 years talking about getting America off its addiction to foreign oil, but has done almost nothing to achieve that goal. Washington's answer to higher oil has been to release 30 million barrels from the SPR. You're laughing. Why? Well, of course I'm laughing. Is that a solution? That's not a solution. You're just taking oil out of storage and putting it on the market. And there wasn't even a, a real interest in buying it. Most of the oil went in the hands of, the, of traders and went into storage in, uh, in tankers. The oil. So it's not doing anything. I mean, prices are now back where they were before really? the, the announcement. Yes, you're not surprised by that. What do you think then prices will be by the end of this year? Will they be above 100 bucks a barrel again? Probably. I think you'll hit, uh, you'll, you'll be very high in the first half of next year. Very high meaning? You'll be back up to 125, 150. So consumers back to paying $4 a gallon? You'll be over $4 a gallon. I'd say $5 is going to be pretty tough to handle. And when do we see that? Well, you could see it next year. $5 next you year. You could see it, $5. Pickens estimates the U.S. will buy $2.2 trillion in oil from OPEC over the next 10 years. But he's hoping it doesn't come to that. Instead, he's pushing Washington to pass an energy policy that replaces the oil we import with natural gas. The cheapest natural gas in the world is in the United States. I mean, we're fools not to use it. But I can tell you, if you don't spend it on your own resource, you're going to spend it on OPEC's resource. This also creates jobs. How oh, many jobs? The answer is it'll be 500,000 minimum. Half a million jobs and our foreign oil addiction cured. That is a big deal if it does play out the way Boone Pickens believes it will. In the coming weeks, we'll be taking a look at the risks and the rewards of natural gas and the big boom it's had in this economy because there's more and more discussion now, Chris, about whether or not this is a viable solution to our energy problem. How realistic could this country morph to natural gas. I mean, is that something that could realistically happen? Realistically, we're a ways away from it. But right now, we use natural gas in heating and cooling our homes. A number of utility companies use it. Some 18-wheeler trucks already are using natural gas as the fluid that runs them. For example, they have a choice between diesel and natural gas. Some of them use natural gas. Even some cars in this country, believe it or not, run on natural mm -hmm. gas. But there's only one car that's made and marketed in this country that runs on natural gas. It's a Honda. Take a look at Europe right now. Every major automaker, including the American automakers, make natural gas-operated cars. So we're a ways from actually having them come here and build a car for Americans because Americans aren't demanding that car just yet. Right, if we're paying 365 for a gallon to, I guess, fill up a, a natural gas car, what are we looking at? Well, it's, it, there's a big difference here. And right now, the difference is so significant. Boone was telling me he, he drives one of these cars. It's, it's yeah. a Honda car, okay. and it's $27,000. It costs him less than a dollar a gallon to fill up his car. Now, that said, the more popular, if this were to become popular, yeah. the more popular it gets, the more we demand the supply, prices would go up. What's keeping us from moving in that direction right now? There are significant risks, according to the critics and the environmentalists, attached to actually extracting the natural gas from the ground. And in addition to that, there's obviously a lot around any kind of energy policy in this country. Anytime yeah. energy comes up, it is a political hot button issue. But yeah. right now, Boone Pickens does has bipartisan support for the plan he's pushing. And this is something that he has been, uh, it's been a focal point for him for a long, long time. A long time. All right, Rebecca, good stuff. Thanks, Chris. Thanks so much.